Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Hamilton Beach Smooth Touch Electric Can Opener. I know it's just a can opener, but it's one of those small appliances that people get a lot of use out of. And if you are going to spend more money to get an electric can opener, it's best to get one that actually works well. It opens standard size cans and pop top cans. It looks pretty good in this chrome and black color. The can opener measures 10 and a half inches tall, 4.7 inches across, and 5 inches deep. The cord length is about 26 inches and it pulls back from the cord storage. Just push it back into the slot when you want to store it. Put the lever down, it's in the locked position. When you want to open a can, put the lever up, put a can underneath the cutting mechanism, push the lever down and hold it down until it makes one rotation. And then you can remove the can. It doesn't stop automatically after it's finished one rotation. This is the cutting mechanism that cuts the seam of the can. After opening the can's not going to just drop off, it's going to stay there, you physically have to remove it. You don't have to worry about it falling down. I'll open all different size cans to show you how it works. I've got three different pop top cans, small tomato sauce, condensed milk, black beans, this is 28 ounces, a pound and 12 ounces of tomatoes, canned salmon, standard can of tuna, and a large oval can of sardines. Also this tiny three ounce can of cat food. It's got a pop top. This can has a little bit of a dent here, so it should be okay to open this side, but if you have a huge dent in your can, it's best to open the bottom. The advantage with this can opener is that it cuts at the seam and there won't be any sharp edges on the can or the lid to cut yourself. The edge is gonna be smooth. After you remove the lid, it fits perfectly on top of the can. Almost looks like it was never opened. The lid won't fall into the can. By the way, it's never a good idea to store leftover food in the can, so always transfer to a glass or plastic storage container before putting it away. I stored a canned salmon like this one time in the can and sort of forgot about it. It was in the fridge for two days. Made salmon patties, they tasted perfectly fine, but I got sick afterwards, so definitely don't store any leftovers in the can. I always wash the tops of the cans before I open them, but with this can opener, even if you forget to wash it, it's okay because the opener doesn't cut the lid and go into your food. The lid never drops into the can. Let's try the standard can of tuna. made one full rotation. You can see it's opened the seam. Just lift up the lever, lift the lid off the can. Very easy and you can't cut yourself on the edge or the edge of the lid. And there are no metal shavings. Just remember to stop after one full rotation. If you let the can go around after one rotation, you might get metal shavings because it's just going over the seam again that's already been cut. And if you want to drain the can, just put it in slightly. And you can still drain it pretty well, just as you would with a, another can opener that goes into the can. We'll open this canned salmon. Again, it's opened perfectly because I only did the one rotation. If you have a Trader Joe's nearby, try the salmon, it's very good. Condensed milk. I didn't go all the way around. Almost. Little can of tomato sauce. You can also hear the uh, noise change when it's done with one rotation. Standard can of beans. 
15 and a half ounces. To push the lever down, it requires hardly any strength. Let's try this huge can of tomatoes, 28 ounces, a pound and 12 ounces. It is heavy. It helps with the bigger cans if you squeeze the side of the can a little bit. It's easier to open that way. And again, no metal shavings at all. Let's try this large oval can. Open that nicely too so it will open ah so it will open odd shaped cans let me clean up this tomato sauce first and we'll open the next can by the way with these canned sardines you can make an amazing fish curry and I'll put a link to that right below this video if you want to try it now let's try a pop top can this is 13.13 ounces Cream of coconut, standard 15 ounce, a narrower can. These are amazing dark sweet cherries. This is also a 15 ounce can, but it's wider. These are so good, I use it in my black forest cake. It's great when you can find fresh cherries. You see the lid just fits right in there. Looks almost like you've never opened it. Pop top can of the three ounce cat food. It's easy to clean since it doesn't go into the can and touch what's inside. Just wipe it down with a damp cloth if you need to. There's really nothing to clean since the cutter only touches the metal seam and no liquids or food. There might be a tiny bit of metal dust, but that's it. The only reason you'd have to clean this is if you splatter tomato juice all over like I did. Sometimes the paper will be cut if it's very close to the seam like this. So you saw all these different size cans opened cleanly, neatly, and without any issues. This can opener is really useful in the kitchen. The lid doesn't go in the can, so there's absolutely no cleanup. The can opener is sturdy, it's not light, it doesn't move around. If you have problems with your hands, if you have arthritis, an electric can opener is a great option. I think I've done recipes with pretty much all these canned items, so if you wanna see any of those, I'll put some links right below this video. These chipotle peppers and adobo are probably gonna go in my chicken recipe when I review the Instant Pot Evo Plus.